Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wuggy, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. If you haven't already turned off from the video because of the way I'm talking, let me apologize and say I got my second dose of the vaccine today, and I had to wake up. I've only, I'm running on about four hours of sleep or so, um, and I can't sleep for another, I'm recording this at like 2 a.m., then I can't go to bed for another four hours, don't ask about my life situation. So forgive me if I sound just a little bit bored or tired. It's taking a lot out of me to record this video, so I hope you like it. If you do, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. So let's get into it, huh? We've got Saiga, a wind close ranger mana caster, and of course... Yashiko? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this is a Gala um, remix, so it's also got Gala Leaf and Gala Reborn Zephyr, which they haven't done a double featured Gala remix since... It's been a very long time. I don't rem I remember Cat Sith was on it, but it was a very long time ago. So yeah, these... Um, let's go into first, Saiga. Um, an ex, Makuru Sho, assassin seeking absolution, once married to Yuhiko's sister, uh, Momiya, he now aims his mana caster at his former employer for robbing him of both his wife and master. Regret guides his hand, the resolve pulls the trigger. <laughs> Jesus, man, are you okay, buddy? Do you need a hug? We got Dirge Shot, Shareable 7. Deals damage to the enemies directly ahead, inflicts Stormlash, and when used directly next to foes, grants the user the enemy insight effect. Enemy insight has three levels. When enemy insight level 3 is active, consumes enemy insight through level 3, deals damage to enemies directly ahead, and inflicts Stormlash. Stormlash foes take extra damage. Damage 225 over 5 hits. Um, energy required is 4,080. When it's a shared skill, it's 5... Wow, what? 5,100? This has to be, like, one of the best shared skills. It probably has to be because they need to get, you know, level 3 insight. Special effect. Um, enemy insight. Last 21 seconds. Triggers every 2.9 seconds. Damage 41. After skill change, damage 400 over 5 hits. Uh, the energy levels remain the same for both. Shared, uh, for a shared skill and for you. Um, Stormlash lasts 21 seconds, triggers every 2.9 seconds, damage 41, and the damage modifier is 120% against Stormlashed enemies. Okay. Karmic Quit to Quitus dispels one buff from multiple targets and grants the user the enemy insight effect. Grants the user, okay. This skill will only affect each target once per use. When enemy insight level 3 is active, consumes enemy insight level 3, dispels one buff from multiple targets, and grants the user the calculated shots effect. The This skill will only affect each target once per use. Uh, energy required 4080, dispels buff, enemy insight. After skill, same energy cost, dispel buff, cancelled shots, calculated shots last 30 seconds and does not stack. Gauge acceleration is 20%. Chain cooperability is wind above 10 hits equals water resistance 10%. Know thine enemy too. When enemy inside level 3 effect is active, increases the amount of users next four strike, lowers the mode gauge by 300%. Can let me read that again. When the enemy inside level 3 effect is active, increase the amount the user's next four strike lowers the mode gauge by 300 okay okay this four strike will consume enemy insight level three also when the calculated shots effect is active increase the power of standard attacks by 10 percent the amount skill gauges are filled by standard attacks by 10 percent and critical rate of standard effects by 10 percent freeze resistance 100 percent and hp 70 percent equals strength 13 percent um so Let's talk about him. Oh god, I need to scratch my head, but it's with the with the arm I took the shot in. So, let's let's look at the the, the fact that he's wind. Uh, that means it's a very competitive category in terms of what a good unit is. I would actually say if he was any if this guy was a light unit, he'd probably be one of the best light units in the entire game, bar none. 
But because he's wind, he kind of has to deal with a lot of the stronger um, wind units in terms of pure viability. But he also kind of gets buffed by some of them, like Morgana, for example. Um, so I think being wind is pretty solid. Um, obviously very competitive, but his actual class, which is the next thing I want to mention, uh, Mana Caster, there's not a lot of them. Especially for Wind, if you did the Nurse Eileen fight, you now know that there is only one Mana Caster in the game and for Wind, and this is the second. So if anything, he would be extremely useful for whenever the hell that fight comes back. Um, so good for them to release more Mana Casters, but maybe start releasing some 3 and 4 ones. In terms of his skills, I think what's going to end up happening, which is I think a shame, is that I think what's going to happen is that people are just going to take his shared skill. Because this, the cost being 5,100, it's barely only 1,000 more. That's really low. Usually they get like crazy length and size of it. And I think it's like that way because it's kind of dealing with the fact that it needs enemy insight. So if it costs 10,000, then, you know, kind of useless to you at that point. Um, so I think his shared skill could end up being extremely useful. Probably, I'm not sure more than H Hakeem. I guess it kind of depends if, you know, it is very costly at 7. So maybe if you want to use two specific shield skills, you want to use him. It, it's going to kind of boil down, I guess, to some stuff that we see. Um, but I like him. I think he, one, he looks awesome in this design. And I think his kit seems pretty fun. And if you're someone who just wants Onga Bunga, then congratulations. That's scared shields. Scared shield? Shared skill. Uh, should be amazing. At least I think it would be. Now let's move on. We have Armored Yashiko. Let me get into her skills now. Uh, I would read her adventure details, but I'm I, let's get this done. Skills, Peerless Eternity, activates Peerless Flourish. The user's next three four strikes are powered up. It deals extra damage to scorched foes. Cool. Uh, Blossom Dance, Shareable 5, deals damage to enemies directly ahead, inflicts Scorringed, and grants the user immunity to knockback. <laughs> Wait, what? This is just p people wide immune to knockback? That's. Oh, oh wow. Um, damage 165 over 6 hits, damage 523 1 hit, damage 267 over 3 hits, skill energy required 5460. Um, when it's a shared skill, it's 10,101. Special effects, knockback immunity lasts 15 seconds and scorched. Co ability, strength 10%. Chain co op ability, um, flame scorched equals wind resistance 8%. Abilities, unrelenting blade 2, increases the strength by 20% for every 15 seconds that pass without the user being knocked back by the enemy. This buff can stack up to three times. All stacks will be lost upon being knocked back by an enemy. Mmm, so you really need that skill to make her work. Also grants the user a unique force strike that has two increasingly powerful charge levels and dispels one enemy buff when the combo count is 15 or higher. This user will be immune to knockback while charging the force strikes. Stun one resistance 100%, force strike 50%. She's a monster hunter. That's kind of crazy. I, so, I think I, this is the one thing I did see. I think she's built crazy good. She's fire, so much like wind, it's very hard to stand out in fire. But she's blade, and there's only really Makoto, and I think Rena. There might be some others that I'm forgetting at the moment, but remember, I'm not in the greatest state of mind. So I think it's actually a very solid um, class to be in. Um, she also plays different from those other, the other uh, two mentioned, so she doesn't really interfere with... If you wanted one over the other, you'd kind of use that way. Um, so I like what they've done with there. I think it was very good element choice and uh, weapon choice. Her skills themselves, this is really... So she has the potential to do just a crazy amount of damage, but the one thing I saw was that people aren't sure if she's gonna be immune to Nihility. Now I think she would be because the Peerless Flourish would be immune to um, um, Nihility because it's a specific skill. The thing I'm not sure about is Blossom Dance. Um, and without Blossom Dance and the ability to be immune to knockback, 
it's gonna be real tough to avoid being knocked back and well i guess at that point you would just kind of always have to be in a four strike stance because your four strike gives you immunity to knock back mm. Mm. this room mm, it's very tricky so we're gonna i'm gonna have to wait and see i think she has the potential to be amazing like, there's no doubt, looking at that kit, I think she would be nuts, busted damage-wise. And anything that's not Nihility-related, she's going to be doing so much damage that you're not going to need any other kind of unit, to be honest. Um, at least that's what I think, really. But to be fair, Volk is kind of easy. Well, Master Volk is very easy, not e extreme. I'll die on that hill <laughs> for that specific uh, talk. I shouldn't laugh. I hurt my arm. <laughs> Ow. Um, but yeah, I think she looks solid. Um, potential is there to be extremely good, but Nihility is something where it's like they need to start including on the unit. This unit is a, this a, this skill effect, this buff immune to Nihility. And the reason they don't is because they know if a new unit is released and their skills are not immune to nihility, no one will pull. Because it's basically telling you this unit is going to be useless in endgame content. So, I have a feeling that she, all her stuff is going to be immune to nihility, but we, we just don't know. So you're just going to have to wait and see on that one. Um... Alright, and just to quickly go over the Galley units, Galilee F, I'm not going to go over exactly what he does. He's a perfectly solid um, sword unit. Um, I think he might actually be, if I were going to rank the sword units, he might be somewhere in like 4th. I would kind of take Galaranzel, Templar Hope, and Morgana over him. Um, but that would still make him a pretty solid 4th in my eye for, for Wind. It's the fact that Wind is such a crazy competitive specifically wind sword um category that he's kind of fallen on hard times when galaranzel got buffed it really made him kind of look less good but he, i think he's still a very solid unit and really fun to actually play around with because he gets basically two sets of skills and stuff um so if you get him don't be bummed out um i think he's still pretty solid he probably needed the the um i'm sorry i'm just too tired to think about my words i'm gonna move on instead of giving the spiral to galaranzel it should have been him there you go gala reborn zephyr basically the best wind dragon if you get him be happy it's actually interesting that they went double wind on this you know they didn't go galilee and then uh, mars or something but i guess too many people have mars They've, I mean, they've rerun Mars too many times for them to do it. But yeah, that's uh, that's how these dudes are looking. I might end up doing a summon, but I might be summoning off screen. Uh, I really, I'm just too. I'm gonna be way out of it. <laughs> I'm gonna be way out of it tomorrow. My arm's gonna hurt way more, so I'm just not gonna do it. I can barely hold a phone currently, so yeah. I wish you guys the best of luck if you're summoning. Um, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace out. Bye-bye.